Some of the organizations facing cuts say they provide essential services that Kentuckians need. That includes the Lexington Hearing and Speech Center's early learning program. And as ABC 36's Veronica Jean Seltzer reports, the School for the Hearing and Speech Impaired is about to make a lot of noise. We're not shouting, but we're counting. Miss <laughs> Holly's classroom is full of sound. So maybe you expected it to be silent. I did. It is not quiet. The primary goal at Lexington Hearing and Speech's Early Learning Center is preparing students with hearing, speech, and behavioral problems for school. Kindergarten teacher Holly Polk says achieving that is the best feeling in the world. But you're like, yes. And you're rejoicing with them, and you're praising them, and you're telling their moms and their dads, and it's just, I mean, it's a phenomenal feeling. Polk and other staff members worry they won't be hearing as many of those moments. Their program is one of 70 the governor wants to cut funding from as a way to fix the state's pension crisis. It's not a huge surprise uh, to us. Of course, we are disappointed. The center has been getting $100,000 from the state for more than five years. It funds adaptive equipment like this sound system that projects the teacher's voice in classrooms. It also pays for scholarships. I worry that we're not going to be able to provide enough scholarship funding for the children who really need to be here, but finances are a barrier. Executive Director Marcy Ainsley says people of all ages drive from hours away to use the center's services. We are providing a resource to the state that would be lost if we were not doing it. Polk understands the governor wants to fix the pension crisis. She empathizes with the teachers it impacts, but she doesn't think cuts are the solution. Education is the foundation for everything in this world. When you cut the basic foundation for everything first, then how do you value what we do? The staff and families here plan to show the center's value using those loud voices they've developed to advocate for themselves at the Capitol next month. Reporting in Lexington, Veronica G. and Seltzer, ABC 36 News.